hello guys on this video i'll be sharing with you some photoshop tips and tricks that can come in handy whenever you're working with photoshop so without further ado let's dive into this video so tip number one has to do with how to create an artboard in order for you to create an artboard you have to click on new file over here the new document panel actually comes up and over here on the new document you have different presets ranging from different screen sizes and paper sizes so in order for you to create any of these in form of an artboard all you have to do first is to enable this checkbox over here with the name artboard to be precise in the situation whereby you intend to create this as a custom uh, artboard you can also come here and set your unit of measurement and give it a particular dimension based on height and width you can also set up your resolution and set up your color mode as you fit then you click on the create over here we have the artboard we just created and if you look over here closely you notice on our layer panel you have a group file called artboard one to be precise so in order for you to add other set of artboards to this project you can come over here where you have the move tool right click on it and click on new artboard and this actually happens it gives you an option to add artboard at the top or by the sides of the existing artboard so i can click on this to create a new artboard side by side the existing one i can also choose to add another artboard at the top and this actually happens we have three artboard over here looking closely on your layer panel you'll find out you have three artboards artboard one to three to be precise furthermore if you intend to actually change the field color of your artboard make sure your artboard uh, two is actually selected and the artboard is actually selected as well come over here click on this and sample the color you intend to give your artboard and you can click on the ok and this actually happens another benefit of an artboard is also give you room to actually resize the artboard manually to any dimension of your choice you can resize it to any dimension of your choice or in a situation where you intend to create an artboard with a precise size you can also come over here and select from the preset of various screens and paper sizes to create your artboard i can click on iphone x over here and it will create this in form of the iphone x but looking at this this is actually giving you a preview of the landscape format of the iphone x so you can come over here and change the orientation of your artboard oh currently it is on the landscape you can click on this to transform it to the portrait so you can click this or this to actually transform your artboard from one orientation to the other furthermore if you intend to move your artboard you can also move your mouse pointer towards the edge of the artboard you have your mouse pointer looking this way you can left click and drag your artboard to any place you want to place it on your workspace that is in terms of working with artboards on tip number two we'll be looking at how to create contrast with text so in order for me to do this i'll pick the text tool over here i'll be making an illustration of an header text and a body text for illustration purpose so over here i'll left click and type in my header text okay introduction is the header text over here i can choose to place it over here on the canva and scale it down like this respectively okay so this is for the header and this is the name of the font and here is the font style i'm using for this extra bold to be precise so in order for me to create the body text also known as the h2 h3 and the h4 on web development i can hit ctrl j to make a duplicate ctrl t to transform and take this down this way over here okay that is in terms of that after i'm done with that I can left click over here and place in the body text I intend to use for this illustration and I'll click on the check button. Over here on the character panel, please, if you don't have your character panel here, you can enable it from the windows and click on the character panel to be precise. So here I have to make the body text a little bit smaller than the header text. So I'll come over here where I have the actual dimension of the text, hit divide on the keyboard, two and hit enter i'm dividing the actual dimension by half to actually get the the actual size for the body text okay this is also applicable to every form of uh adjustment panel and the character panel to be precise so i can come over here pick the move tool and adjust this like this okay pick the text to 
and break them into spaces. So over here we have the body text and over here we also have the tracking. I can choose to increase the space between these texts because looking at this, this text is actually clustered. So instead of me making use of the leadings this way by adjusting it manually, I can actually come over here, click on this and hit multiply. That is shift 8 on the keyboard 2 to actually multiply the space by 2 and this actually happens. I'm actually trying to maintain a radius by dividing and multiplying them by 2 in terms of balancing the text. I can also come here to create contrast by using different style under the style category over here and select the medium and this will actually look perfectly well for your design project. This technique is also applicable to every adjustment panel over here as well. Okay, looking at this text, you can notice they are a little bit clustered in terms of the horizontal axis. So in order for me to adjust the tracking, I can come over here, click on this, divide this by two as well, and it will increase the spacing between the text. And you can see that the text is actually spaced out properly. Okay, that is in terms of creating contrast with text sizes. On tip number three, we'll be looking at how to create complementary colors on your design. So in order for me to do this, I'd like to enable the window panel so that you have a good understanding of what I'm actually talking about. So you can click on the color option over here. You have uh, the panel that comes up over here. You can enable your color wheels the way it is looking like this on my screen. You can enable it by clicking on this and click on the color wheel to be precise. So I'll pick the text to left click to paste in a line of text, Ctrl T to actually transform this out to be precise. And I would like to check. So after you're done with that, you notice that the color wheels are comprises of 12 colors. And it is being said that colors that are opposite each other are complementary colors. So I'll come over here to change the field color of my text by sampling a color over here. I can sample this color over here and increase the saturation for the color in terms of that okay that is the saturation after i'm done i'll click on this so here is the color i picked here the shade of color it is expected that this should be the complement of the color so when i pick my text to and select a part of this text you see what actually happens is giving me a feel of this color to depict that this color is the complement of this color. This was the green we selected and the complement is this. But when I highlighted this text, you notice what happened. This is actually showing that this is the complement of this particular color to be precise. So when working on the project, you can actually choose to work with any color of your choice Okay, let me pick this color and we'll look on the color way what is the complementary. It is expected that the color opposite this should be the complementary to this. So let me highlight this and you see what happens. This is the complement of the color. Okay, so guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, do it to give it a like, do it to smash the like button, guys. If you're new to the channel and you would like to see more content like this, do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content. If you have any questions and comments, you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And see you in the next.